What's up guys, as you all know the iPhone 5S has a A7 chip with 64-bit uh, computing abilities. But what does this mean? I will try to explain this to you uh, as easy as possible. So let's get started. Phil Siller said the A7 64-bit chip um, is going to change the future of mobile computing. And he is right. Apple claims that the new A7 chip delivers twice as fast CPU performance um, and two times faster uh, graphics. But there are a lot uh, more reasons he didn't tell us. Let's go through a couple of 64-bit um, benefits. The main difference is the ability uh, to handle more than uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM. The current 32-bit uh, chipset um, are limited to 4 gigabytes. At the moment, we don't know how much RAM the iPhone 5S has. It is possible that it is 3 gigabytes uh, like the recently uh, released Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So why is it important? If Apple wants to expand memory uh, in the future, they can. As users, we get um, more powerful apps. It's also likely uh, to assume that this uh, 64A7 chip uh, will be put in the iPad so it can handle more powerful apps and games. 64-bit um, also gives a faster response like we saw in the explain of Infinity Blade 3. The developer said uh, they were able to get four times more detail into graphics. But there are also a couple downsides. It's a lot more expensive, uh, slightly bigger and takes up a lot more battery life. Also, having more RAM uh, to use uh, doesn't make um, it any faster in computing. The biggest performance improvements come with the new graphics standard in the A7 chip. It supports OpenGL ES3.0. It's an interface uh, for faster graphics performance, making the iPhone 5C twice as fast in the graphics. Also, the iOS 7 software is completely rebuilt uh, for its A7 processor. It's far more better at a math uh, when performing a lot of data. Apple also made sure uh, this doesn't affect uh, any current 32 um, bit apps. So with all these improvements, Apple is preparing uh, a new mobile standard. 64-bit almost sounds like marketing for now, but it does uh, make sense for the future. So what do you think about these improvements? Do you even care? Or is the current iPhone 5 fast enough? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.